today we're going to do self-portrait, which means you're going to draw yourself. You're going to draw your face. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to observe, how to look at your face. And you can use a piece of paper, a draw. You can draw while I talk to you. And or you can draw after you hear me, you know, <laughs> and then after you look at your face, after you observe your face, and then you can draw. Yeah, you can have a mirror in front of you and you can look at yourself and then follow my my verbal instruction. And our face, I'm an adult, so my face is a little bit longer, right? My face is kind of look like an oval. So which means I think you can draw an oval or maybe because you're younger, your face might look uh, a little rounder, right? So your face might look like a circle. And my face is like an oval. And what do we have? We have our forehead, right? Some people's forehead are wider. Some people's forehead is narrower. I think I have like a smaller forehead. So we leave some a little bit of space on the top of your circle or oval you drew and you can see you have two eyebrows right you can look at the shape of your eyebrows and then try to draw your eyebrows and look at your underneath of your eyebrows are your eyes so you can look at the shape of your eyes and then you can draw your eyes and you have two eyeballs, right? Uh, people's eyeballs come into different colors and then you can color if you have green eye, if you have brown eyes, you can color your eyeballs. And underneath of your eyes, right in the middle of your face is your nose. We have two nostrils. You can draw two little nostrils. I'm not sure how do you call this part of your nose, but you know, we have this two parts, two thing. You can feel, you can touch your nose and then feel this two round thing around your nostril. This is the outside of our nose. So you can do your nostril, keep it a little bit further because your nose is long, right? And then underneath of your nose, right? Also right in the middle is your mouth. And we, you can start from the middle. You can draw a line, right? When you close your mouth, you can draw a line right in the middle. And you can look at the shape of your upper lip and draw the outline of your upper lip and then draw the outline of your lower lip. Yeah, I think now you have a face. On the side of our face, we have two ears. Some people's ears are like, you know, you can see a ears opening up right on the side. My ears is pretty pushed up to the back. So you can see how much you can see, you know, you can draw the outline of your ears. And then if you can see a little bit of it, what's inside of your ear, you can look at the details of what's used inside of your ears. Yeah, your hair. Your hair actually grows from inside of your scalp. Like, I mean, like when you look at your face in the front, your hair doesn't grow right only on the top. It grows kind of very like, you know, low into your forehead a little bit, right? So you want to draw your hair. What kind of hairstyle do you have? I have long hair, so you can draw lines, right? Hairs are lines. If you have curly hair, you can draw curly hair. If you have straight long hair, you can draw straight long hair. If you have short spiky hair, yeah, you can draw any kind of hairstyle, any color. Yeah, 
you can make yourself crazy hair style. Yeah, that's it. And uh, we also have our neck. Your neck doesn't start right in the middle, right? We try not to make your neck um, too skinny. So normally, I think your neck grows from uh, like your somewhere align your eyes. But yeah, you don't have to make your neck too skinny. And then we can just draw the outline of your neck. That's how we turn our head. And on the very bottom, on the very bottom, sorry, I'm wearing black. On the very bottom of your neck, attached is your, well, shoulders. Okay, you have one shoulder and then two on the other side. So your shoulder grows from the bottom of your neck. And then you can just draw your shoulder. Normally, your shoulders are wider than your face. Yeah, I think you can draw a large uh, face on one piece of paper. And since I already talked about how you look at your face, and then we are going to make a person's face and a part of the shoulder together. Okay, now let's start drawing a person, a face. So your face might be a circle or an oval. I'm going to draw an oval. And remember to leave some forehead and then leave some space like three fingers maybe and uh, your eyebrows. Your eyebrows are made out of hair, okay? So I can draw some hair, little hair. Underneath of your eyebrows are your eyes. I'm going to draw my eyes. Looks like this shape. <laughs> And uh, if you wear glasses, like me, and my glasses, uh, my glasses is attached, the feet attached to my ears. So I'm going to draw my ears. My nose, you can see my nose actually goes out and then go in. So I'm going to let my nose go out and go in. Two nostrils. And I have <laughs> this part of my nose. It goes, goes out from uh, my eyebrow or my eyes. Go down and go in. And my mouth, I start from the middle. And I draw my upper lip and lower lip. This is me. <laughs> I'm going to give myself some hair. Start from the inside of your head. I'm going to give myself a nice, like wavy, wavy hair. I wanted to cut my hair for a real long time, so I'm going to give myself a little shorter hair. And neck. Go the outline, left and right. On the bottom of the, my neck grows my shoulders. Go out and go out. My shoulders is very wide. Really depends on how big your paper and how large your drawing is. You can decide how, what is the size of your shoulders or your body. I want to draw the color of my, uh, this is a t-shirt, okay? And go from the back, go around and to the back. My t-shirt goes around my body. So I start from the back and go around. And my teacher, my t-shirt also, uh, you know, like wrapped outside of my body. So I can make a larger, I'm going to sort of color my t-shirt a little bit. I have a 
I'm not sure if you can see I have a sad face. I'm going to do them. <laughs> yeah, face on my self-portrait. Okay, this is it. This is me. And uh, can you draw you? Bye-bye.